When organizations who help others need a helping hand themselves, a nonprofit in Louisville answered the call. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis brings you the details after much needed medical supplies are donated. It is almost like Christmas early for us um, to know now we can tell our boards, hey, now we don't have to budget for that for the, the last three months of the year. We actually have a partner who's going to come in and help us. Uh, I, listen, I'm going to hug them before they get out of the car. Jeremy Holbrook, director of the neighborhood, which houses multiple nonprofits, is referring to SOS International, a medical surplus recovery organization. There are about seven accredited in the United States, and we just happen to be based in Louisville. So what we do is we get donations from hospitals hospitals and other medical partners and then we redistribute them to the partners in the community who need those items and supplies. This is their first trip to Ashland to distribute these much needed medical supplies to around a dozen organizations including nonprofits like those located in the neighborhood and local career and technical centers. We do a medical assistant program and then a phlebotomy and EKG program. These free supplies help us to teach our students and that way they can um, perform their hands on skills so they can pass their certifications and when they graduate, they can go out and begin working. Supplies range from personal protective equipment to more specialized gear. This shipment includes more than 3,500 pounds of supplies worth more than $50,000. The need for supplies like these has only grown for these organizations due to the pandemic. COVID's been hard. Our fundraising, our, our events has been much lower than, than normal uh, over the last couple years. They knew that and so they said, how can we help? There's just a shortage of healthcare professionals, so this is really going to help the students as well as our area hospitals and facilities. Many I spoke with share a similar sentiment. We're just appreciative. Uh, it, it has truly offset some expenses that we were desperate for. In Ashland, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. While SOS is based in Louisville, the program manager says local organizations can still get involved. For more information, you can head to wowktv.com.